Scorpios, it is the Sun Sage. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I am back to do another March reading for you all. So we're going to see what's going on in your love life and what's coming in your love life. All right. This can resonate for those of you who are single or those of you in a connection. You could be separated. You could be together. I just want to see the energies surrounding you and who could be surrounding you right now. Um, this is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, or Rising, and those of you who are cross watchers connected to a Scorpio. So let's see what's going on for Scorpios in love currently. What is Scorpio's current love situation? All right. Single, attached. What's going on? The Hierophant. Okay. So big, attached energy. Um, heavy, you know, solid commitment energy here showing up. Let's see why we have that. What else do we have for Scorpios? We have a Knight of Wands. You guys could be dealing with a fire sign, um, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, or you could just be feeling really energetic and really good about a relationship that has the qualities that you want from it, like a playfulness, but also like this uh, traditional aspect to it. Um, what else do we have? Uh, we have the Four of Pentacles. All right. So yeah, there's somebody, there's a real comfortable situation here. Um, you may live with somebody like it's real passionate, like the hermit. Yeah. I feel like y'all spend a lot of time together or you're dealing with somebody that you could have a child with and it feels like it's, um, it's committed whether you guys say that or not. This could be one of those real, um, unconventional relationships, right? Anytime I see the Hierophant with the Knight of Wands next to it, the Hierophant being conventional, traditional, routine, the Knight of Wands going against all of those things, I feel like you're, you guys are in a non-traditional relationship. I feel like there's something about it that gets you, it gives you everything you want and need without all the fancy titles, without all the, you know, making a big fuss about it mainly because you know you still feel free and like you're trying to figure this out but you do have somebody you can go home to or somebody that feels like they support you virgo energy showing up i also have taurus um lots of fire here so you guys just have somebody you may can rely on or somebody that's just in your life um some of you with the four of pentacles and the hermit you have somebody you can disappear on and they don't take it personal um and so this just feels like one of those things where you know what what's understood doesn't have to be explained here so i want to see why we have these energies all right, for Scorpio, what's going on currently in their love life? What's going on with Scorpios in their love life currently? Uh, why is this horrifying here? Um, it's the Queen of Wands. Yeah, you have somebody who you're in an unconventional connection with, okay? Um, I feel like it may have started off as something conventional, something that, you know, maybe y'all broke up, maybe y'all didn't, you, you know, the relationship didn't last, but you still feel like you have a relationship with this person in some way. Okay. Even if it's not, it's not casual. Okay. There's something here tying you together more than friendship, but yeah, there's a lot of passion here. Maybe you you have a friends with benefits situation, you know, ace of wands, maybe you guys are there for each other when you need that physical healing. And you also have someone you can talk to. Um, but I do feel like what's going on in your love life is you are starting to reevaluate the meaning of relationships, right? Like what was taught to you versus how you're doing it, right? The Queen of Wands here is representing for me um, someone who is going against the grain, someone who is still getting your life. Um, even though you were told possibly that, you know, you'll never get married if you are like this, or you'll never find somebody who loves you if you, you know, act like this and you're, you're living the way that you want to live. And it feels like you are finding some satisfaction in that. So the Knight of Wands is, I feel like you almost blew up a system, right? A tradition in your family or something, um, something that may have seemed taboo. And you're living your life the way that you want to when you have somebody who's here to live it with you. The Eight of Wands, lots of um, energy here. Yeah, I mean, this is somebody that you may have the key to their house or something. The Empress, you feel very comfortable, okay? You feel very comfortable, um, Scorpios. You could be with an Earth sign or a Libra. Um, but I feel like you have somebody that, you know, the, the, the physical... 
um, aspects of the connection is good, very sexy. I feel like the conversations are very fun, very lighthearted here with the Eight of Wands. You guys feel very like you talk about everything, um, like kind of like, you know, that love, that first love energy, right? And it feels like, again, the Four of Pentacles, the Hermit, when you need time away, when you want to be by yourself, this person leaves you alone without taking it personal. So I don't know. I feel like you guys are going through something where it's challenging um the the what you what you or someone else thought you um wanted in a relationship and i feel like you're making your own way with somebody that you're very interested in right this person gives you love and attention and affection um you guys spend some time with each other i feel like you have someone who listens to you someone who you know recognizes you and appreciates you so it feels like yeah there's a friendship here but there's something more as well page of cups for those of you that are married it could feel like you're having like a second like um almost beginning stages of like when you first met each other you feel like those um those same two kids that came together and fell in love with each other so there's something really positive about this relationship that even if it's not traditional even if it even if it is it feels like you're doing it your way hermit here virgo how do we have this for um scorpio yeah the six of pentacles Y'all may help each other pay bills. <laughs> There's some level of comfort here with some daddy Scorpio, right? Because in, in you guys' reading, I was typically picking up someone who wanted to be back with you, but you didn't want to go backwards. So you may have found a way to make this work, right? For some of you, you may have taken this person back, but not officially. You just allow them in your life and, you know, we'll just, you know, what works, works. And when you start getting on my nerves, you got to go. But I do feel like some is working. I feel like there is a level of harmony here. Um, I feel like some of you are um, kind of living a single life while having someone that you could potentially end up with. And others of you are in a marriage where you can still explore your individuality and you still feel like you have somebody who is um, seeing you as someone that they, you know, are, are, you know, attracted to, right? The, 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 the sexiness is still there. The passion is still there for a lot of you. So what's coming in for Scorpios? All right. I have the will of fortune. What's coming in for Scorpios in love here? What's coming in for Scorpios in love? What do we have? I have strength. All right. So I do, um, Leo energy, will of fortune. What else do we have for Scorpios? I have the towers, uh, Virgos just got that. And you do have Virgo in your reading and the sun, Leo, again, the world Virgos had this as well. Um, so I do feel like you guys are dealing with a relationship that's come full circle, right? Maybe you weren't ready at the time when y'all were together and it didn't work out, but there's something about it now. It just works, right? Even with this tower here for what's coming in, some of you may have an epiphany or a breakthrough moment where you go, you really make me happy, right? You really are the person I'm supposed to be with. Like, so let's see why we have the will of fortune. Um, there's a friendship that's growing into something more committed. Ace of Wands, right? There's a, a physical attraction. Yeah, there's something here. Somebody's very good looking and very, um, this is a, a, listen, this is, this is husband material. The Emperor, the Ace of Wands is there's a new start in this relationship. It's not what it used to be. It feels refreshed. It feels like the dynamic is a little bit different than it maybe was. For a lot of you, you're meeting someone new, possibly a divine counterpart. It feels like you did have this, uh, this uh, person that you were dealing with, but you may have someone coming in, possibly an Aries, who is going to just like, because there's a lot of fire here. So there could be a fire sign coming in to just like um, turn your life around, right? Especially with this Wheel of Fortune, this Ace of Wands. This is somebody new or somebody who has a fresh energy strength here. They can handle you. A lot of people can't handle you and your intensity and your passion and you, you when you need to be alone, right? This person can handle you, right? They, they, they're not going to give up on this, right? They see something special here, the nine of wands, something worth fighting for in you. 
All right, I have the Ace of Pentacles representing and confirming this new beginning that does feel like it's happening for a lot of you in love. You have somebody who, it doesn't matter what you throw at them. They're going to meet the challenge. It doesn't matter if you play hard to get. They're going to stick around and, you know, try different approaches, right? And I feel like somewhere along the way, very soon, you're going to realize that this is the person like, oh, wow. I've been, um, you know, I, I didn't see it at first, right? <laughs> or maybe you did see it and you were just like, I'll, you know, when I want this person, right? Seven of Pentacles, you were just taking your time, but this is somebody that you want, right? You've been pulling them in <laughs> and, and they're a willing participant. They want to be with you too. The Seven of Pentacles, you can have them if you want them. And with this tower moment, it feels like your patience pays off here, right? There's something that feels like if we get back together, it is not going to work. We're going to ruin each other. It's going to be just like it was the first time. And boom, the sun, it turns out to be something totally different, a totally different, more positive experience for you guys. So what do we have with the sun? the seven of swords okay so a lot of you feel like with the sun here um this is too good to be true okay so one of the things you can do is start to um create like circumstances or scenarios that don't exist i.e lying to yourself about this person right they don't really love me they don't really want me they're just here because it's comfortable because it's you know whatever but i feel like you are dealing with somebody who could turn your life around um whether this is a new person or somebody you're familiar with you know this energy and this feels like again you're coming full circle the world again the world at the bottom of the deck again it's not over right something yeah the way it used to be between y'all is over but there's a new dynamic taking place between you and this person and it feels very promising all right yeah challenging yeah you may not go into union you know but i feel like you know it's coming right i'm gonna do that again um for you guys yeah i had flirt but i'm gonna do that again there's a really um fun flirty youthful connection here that's that feels like it yeah friendship you have a lovers and friends dynamic with somebody right now scorpio this is how you protect yourself right i'm not going to let you all the way in but i am going to give you a chance to prove yourself to me to prove your loyalty to me i feel like you learn a lot about this person and i feel like some of the things that you may have believed about them with the seven of swords turn out not to be true oh you know what i'll grab another one for you guys i was doing the bottom of the deck but yeah hope there's hope for you in this person. And I have balance. You have somebody who's not scared of you, right? <laughs> They're intrigued by you. They're excited. They're excited by you. They get you. They know how to handle you. Balance here. You guys balance each other out. Um, I feel like this is a situation where if you feel like people are not able to deal with someone like you and not able to understand someone like you, this person gets it, right? Mainly because there feels like there was a friendship established, okay? Mainly because it feels like, um, you know, after friendship, anything is possible with this person. Anything is possible with hope here. All right, so that is what I have for you, Scorpios. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you are interested in a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.